Hey everybody, it's Henry W. Steele, and this is the third video in the series of videos I'm doing about esoteric cycles, the cycles that you can use if you decide to do so, to help anticipate or forecast the stock market. Cool thing is, all these cycles I've been talking about in these videos can be used for other things also, not just the stock market or commodities market or forex market. You can use it for weather and all kinds of different things. But... The obvious focus is the markets for these. Now in this series, I've just been showing you different cycles that you can play around with and do testing on and testing with to see how well it works for you. Um, this particular video, in case you hadn't figured out, we're going to talk about the eclipse cycles or some of the eclipse cycles, I should say. And this web page right here is NASA's Eclipse web page. I'll put a link to it down in the description of this video. It's actually a really, really good um, website. It has all kinds of information. It has the solar eclipses and lunar eclipses. And what's cool is it gives 5,000 years of eclipses uh, right here. There's 5,000, uh, five millennia, 5,000 year catalog of solar eclipses. And then on the lunar eclipse page down here, you scroll down and it looks a little bit different, but they've got the, uh, here it is, five millennial catalog of lunar eclipses also. So you got 5,000 years of eclipses to play with. So that should cover pretty much anything you really want to study when it comes to the eclipses. Uh, it gives a lot of really cool information about each eclipse, like when it happens, the point of the greatest, the time of the greatest eclipse, the eclipse type. Uh, the Saros series, which is an 18-year cycle. Um, the magnitude of eclipse, duration where it's at, all this. I mean, there's really, it's really good um, information on this. I highly recommend anyone who's interested to go ahead and look at this web page. Now, let's look at, obviously, each eclipse is important. In fact, if we look here, we see that we have on January 6, 2019, we have a partial solar eclipse coming up, which is just a couple weeks away. So that's something to pay attention to. That means there's a lunar eclipse. Let's see. Lunar eclipse very close by also, since they always come together. January 21st, 2019, we'll get a total lunar eclipse. And it's over Pacific, Americas, Europe, and Africa. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, anyway, really awesome web page. I hope you take some time and look at it. Now, let's talk a little bit about the, I mean, like I said, the individual eclipses are important, but the Cero series of uh, cycle, Cero cycle, is really good to look at also. Now, the eclipse that's coming up is part of the 122nd Cero series. If we click on that, we'll find a little bit more. Let's just look over here. Uh, each Cero series or cycle, I guess you could call it, is approximately 223 synodic months, which is just a lunar month or new moon to new moon. And it takes 18 years, 11 days, and 8 hours for this to happen. Now, if we go back to the catalog here, we see that series number 122 will have a total of 70 eclipses in it. 28 partial and you know you can look at all this information yourself but what i want to point out is that this is an 18 year cycle slightly over 18 year cycle but the series itself can last a long uh, let's see this said this is 70 so if we do a quick calculation 18 years times it'd be 69 1,242. Uh, we actually see the first eclipse in this cycle and the second eclipse. Second eclipse is on 2235. First one was 0991 for a difference of 1,244 years. When these Cero series have 71 eclipses, we get a 1,200 and approximately 1,260 year cycle. A little bit off, but really close to 1260 years. Now, without going into too much detail, uh, if you've ever wondered why anyone might use, say for instance, 70 
uh, lunar orbits or 70 lunar months for something, it would be, <clears throat> excuse me, closely tied to something along the lines of the number of eclipses in a Saros series. And like I said, I'm not going into too much detail about that, but this is something that I recommend that you guys look at and study because there's different numbers of eclipses in different cycles. So I recommend you start digging into that and you might be surprised by the information that you could find. So anyway, let's go back to, um, we looked at the Cero series. Now there is the Metonic cycle. Now this one is pretty interesting. It's the 19 year cycle. People like to look at Major Motors campaign when they see this cycle because it mentions the 19 year old Major Motors in Tunnel Through the Air. But basically what this cycle is, is a 6,940 day cycle. We have 19 tropical years coinciding with 235 synodic months, which again, that's just a lunar month or new moon to new moon. And there's also 254 side reel months or lunar orbits. And these all fall within the same a number of days right here, with the exception of the draconic months right here. It's off by one day. But these are the three main ones to look at right here. Now, without going into too much detail here, what's one of the things I said to always do with numbers that you see that are important? 6940, find the square root of that. And we have a very interesting number come up there. But there's also something else I wanted to point out that you might not notice right away. The 6940, 6940, if we subtract out 5,000 days, we get the famous 1,940 days. Now, one thing I want to point out is that you might consider the fact that when Gan in Tunnel Through the Air is talking about cycles of many, many years, you very well may be talking about cycles of days, you know, since he does say something along the lines of days, years, and degrees can all be considered or used interchangeably. So that's something to think about. So maybe a 5,000 year cycle might actually be a 5,000 day cycle. So anyway, not going into any more details about that. I'll let you do research on that if it's something you find interesting. So I'll go ahead and bring this video to a close with this. Um, check out the lunar and uh, solar eclipses from this website. It's a really cool study. You can spend a lot of time using it. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, pretty powerful when you dig into it. I'll just leave it at that. So this will be the last video I do before Christmas. So if you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas, and I hope you have a wonderful time. And I will talk to you guys next week after Christmas.